Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing with you three really simple and easy healthy meals that I've been cooking for my family lately. I have a family of six and all of my children have been loving these meals, including myself. I will leave all of the video details down below in the description box so you can find all of the recipes and everything that I've used in the video. Let's go ahead and get into these meals. They are delicious and super fast. Each meal took me only 10 minutes to make for my family. Once I have the ground beef cooked, I'm gonna start cooking the rice. You can choose to cook the rice however you want, but I'm actually doing instant rice this time. So I just got the appropriate amount of water that the instructions called for, and I'm adding this bouillon powder of some sorts. It's really good for Mexican rice, and I'm gonna add in the instant rice and then let this start cooking on the stove top. It doesn't take long. You can also do this in the microwave if you don't want to do it on the stove top. It's really simple and easy. For this recipe, I chose to do a small can of enchilada sauce, but honestly, a big one would have been better if I could go back just to make it a little bit thicker with the meat. Um, I think it would have stretched it a little bit more, but I'm just gonna layer rice, meat. I did a little bit of refried beans from a can just to thicken it up for my family. Then I did pico de gallo and shredded cheese, and then I topped it with this cheese sauce i found it at walmart i will try to link it down below but it was really simple and easy and very yummy this was my family's favorite i gotta tell you something i could do i could be running or i chasing you but i won't so for this recipe you could definitely buy the fajita meat that is already in a pre-packaged meal you could also do beef cubes but i went with steak just because aldi has really good deals on steak and i'm having my husband cook them for us just because that's easier for me and i honestly don't like cooking steak but it turned out really yummy you can cut it into the certain sizes that you want I am using rice that is microwavable just because this particular night I didn't have a lot of time and the time that I did have we were cooking the steak so I went with this jasmine rice from Aldi it's the best rice to do with this it's stickier and I think it goes with the teriyaki sauce so I did three packages they weren't very expensive and then I did two packages of broccoli you could also do real broccoli if you had that or fresh broccoli and then all you do is add your steak or beef cubes and then a whole jar of teriyaki sauce mix it all together and then you are done Your game. 
if you were me, you would do the same. Man, I really love to play. And now that I won, then it's safe to say. But you didn't want me, or you wanted. The last meal turned out to be another favorite of my family's. This is a lasagna bowl, and I just cooked two pounds of ground beef. My family used to be able to make one pound of ground beef work, but we can't do that anymore. Since we have six, I usually always have to go with two pounds of ground beef, but if you have a smaller family, one pound would be perfect. I use two jars of marinara sauce, and make sure to pour a little bit of water in there, shake it up and add it back in just so you can get as much of it as you can into your recipe. And I loved how this recipe called for something that I have never put in lasagna and it was like plain Greek yogurt. So this is Parmesan, a little bit of Greek yogurt and it added a lot of creaminess to the dish without it tasting like Greek yogurt and it also adds some protein to the dish as well. So after I added that, we added mozzarella and our cooked pasta and you are done. Another really simple and easy dish that my kids loved. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope that y'all enjoyed these meals. Stay tuned this week. I'm gonna have another video coming out in two days. This is gonna be a canning video for any of you who are interested to see what we have been canning from our garden this year. So I will see you in the next video. Bye everybody.